we are going to start this video by taking a look at why this upper radiator hose is experiencing a suction inside the coolant system. When we look at the coolant hose, we can see it's practically flattened. This is caused by vacuum in the coolant system. We have replaced the coolant. We have replaced the engine thermostat, flushed the coolant system, and installed new antifreeze coolant into the radiator. We have also replaced the old radiator cap with this new radiator cap. Since we replaced this radiator cap, we have been experiencing this collapse upper hose every time we shut the engine down and let it sit for 12 hour when it become cool we will notice this collapse coolant hose so this collapse coolant hose is most likely caused by the radiator cap and what this is letting us know also is that we have a perfect seal cooling system which means no air is entering and no leakage can be experienced so we want to remove this radiator cap and when we remove this radiator cap I want you to pay attention to the hose how it expand itself back to normal condition so our problem is with this radiator cap basically the coolant system is an expansion and contraction system basically the water will get hot and will have a tendency to expand and when it cold the system will basically sh shrink itself or contract itself during this contraction phase the radiator will experience a vacuum situation this vacuum situation is caused because the coolant is becoming cool and it's requiring more coolant from the reserve tank to enter into the coolant system but this radiator cap is preventing it from happening you see when a vacuum is developed in the coolant system this little cap right here is supposed to come back like this retract itself to allow air to bleed off from the system now if the cooling system should become highly pressurized or over pressurized it will move this seal cap counteracting with the spring and pushing the fluid out the radiator hose back into the reserve tank so we're not experiencing a over pressure situation we're experiencing a vacuum situation when the engine become cold because the hose will remain collapsed this is caused because this bleeder cap right here is not allowing the system to bleed itself off during expansion and contraction also when we look at the rubber seal we know the rubber seal is sealing itself to the radiator so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this new radiator cap that we purchased. When we compare the two radiator caps side by side, the new one with the used one, we will notice they have the same install height. That will be from on the top cap to the bottom where it seals in the radiator. But when we look at the spring, the spring is a little different and the spring offer different pressure. For example, this one is much harder to press. This one is much easier and they both have the same size bleeder valve but this bleeder valve is much easier to relieve in compared to this one so chances are this is not the radiator cap for application it is very important that you pressure test a new radiator cap so it meet the requirement to the manufacturer specification this radiator cap should reach a 17 PSI pressure when you place when you place it on the radiator pressure tester tool so what we're going to do is we're going to replace our old radiator cap 
and get rid of this one because this one is too much pressure it's not basically relieving the system when the engine is shut down and we don't know if it's going to be adequate enough to blow off the pressure excessive pressure that will build up in the cooling system because this cap spring is very very high tension when compared to our used one so we're going to replace our cap and check the coolant and you will experience normal condition so we will go to the dealer or the parts store and match our radiator cap to the one that we have here